Okay guys, I've had this little Sonoma truck bed for quite a few years now, and there's something that I wanted to do with it. Um, so we're gonna cut it up, haul it back to the shop, and make something pretty cool with it. Okay, so we've got the back portion cut off, the back six, eight inches. Um, I'm gonna cut some of the bed pan out to put vertically in the back here. So when you open the tailgate and sit in there, there's a back just so it's not just wide open. Something like that. So this is what we're gonna end up with, something like this. Um, I'm also going to hook up the taillights. I don't know if they'll be steady on. Um, or kind of flashing like hazards, maybe. Okay, so I put the wiring in, cleaned it all up, tested it, everything works except a couple of the bulbs are burnt out, or the brake lights or the running lights, so I'll get new ones and swap those out. But for now, Cool. I've got it running off a of battery I was charging, so I just was testing it with the battery. Um, I'm going to get a transformer from like a computer or something that you plug in to 110 and then it converts it to 12 volts. So I'll just put that on there and then you can plug it in in the house wherever you want. Sir, do you know why I pulled you over tonight? Looks like one of your brake lights are out. You boys been doing a bit of boozing? Huh? Sipping back on grandpa's old cough medicine? So I was kind of thinking it'd be neat when I have the back in here to put a little toggle switch so you could put the right or left blinker on. I figured kids would find that kind of cool when they're sitting there. Um, and then also if the blinker's left on, it'll make you feel like you're driving around in Florida. People just driving around with their blinker on for no reason. Okay guys, real quick, we have 100% free mystery box giveaway. Um, it's worth about $100. All you need to do is be subscribed and comment on this specific video. The winning comment will be picked by a computer program randomly at 12 a.m. on June 1st. Uh, one comment per person per entry. Um, it can be any comment, tell me how much you hate me, tell me I suck, it doesn't matter. You still have the same amount of chance of winning as everybody else, um, but you must be subscribed. We'll have a winner announcement video on June 1st. Um, the winner needs to contact me by email, which they can find in my about section on my channel. And I also have free can koozies. Um, I have a bunch of these, they just came in. I will mail them out to you. All you need to do is find my email in my about section on my channel. Shoot me a message and I'll send one of these out to you while supplies last. Okay guys, back to the video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment on this video for a chance to win a $100 free mystery box. Okay, so you're probably wondering how I'm going to make my stand for this. Um, I came up with a little bit of a plan. I have some two inch by two inch square stock metal. Um, 
And this truck had a tubular frame kind of in the back where the tailgate hangs off of for strength and everything. So what I did is I notched the bed and I plan to slide this right in. And what I'll do is bolt right through this tubular structure of the truck, right through here and through my two by two square stock. And I'll do that on each side. And then I'll make a platform down on the bottom so it doesn't tip forward. But I don't have enough of this two inch by two inch square stock. So let's run over to the metal fab shop and grab some more. Verticals. Now I'm going to work on making the platform at the bottom. I'm going to come out, go out of 45, and then do a front piece, which it'll be about 20 inches wide. So that way, when you're sitting on the tailgate, it doesn't flip forward, of course. Okay, so we have our pieces cut. I want to show you really quick what I'm going to do. So this is my pedestal or platform, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be on the ground. I already kind of drew it out before I started cutting everything. So I have an idea of my lengths and whatnot. So it's going to be something like this. And then these are our verticals that will go up and hold the actual bed or the back of the bed up. So we're going to have two verticals like this and the tailgate will open forward. So this sticks out quite a distance. If it feels a little tippy I have a solution which we'll talk about later if we need to. Um, the reason why I did a 22 and a half here is I could have made it out square but I thought this looked a little neater. Um, a little more work, but not too bad. I think it looks a lot better. The other reason is with this sticking out like this square, if you were walking by, you could possibly stub your toe or your foot on it. Um, especially when the tailgate's closed. Um, the tailgate might only come out to here once it's closed, somewhere in here. So if you were walking by it and you stubbed your toe on it, it would hurt. Where this is a little softer of an angle where your foot might bounce off of it now, hopefully. So this is our plan. So I'm gonna clean all these up and tack them together and test it out. to open up those 90s where the verticals come in. Um, it's just tacked together, so I'm gonna open those up and lean it back a little and re-weld it, which will also help with it feeling like it's gonna tip forward. Tell that frame is leaning back a touch, but my tailgate's pretty level. Okay, so I've laid out my holes for each side for bolting it together. We're gonna drill our pilot hole, and then drill our larger hole, and put our top bolt at each side.
Holy shit. The bit just exploded. Okay, so we have it together. Lights are on. Um, I couldn't find a computer transformer, so I'm gonna have to track one of those down, but for now it's just hooked up to the battery. We have the back in. As you saw, I just riveted in, put a few tacks on the bottom to hold that in. Um, I spent some time welding and grinding up the frame, which I might just leave it like that, let it rust. I like rust, don't mind it. Um, so now there's just one thing left to do. Okay guys, remember, subscribe and comment and you might have a chance to win this $100 mystery box. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy this bush light and sit on the tailgate. Nobody's watching at this point anyways, so what's the difference? I guess, unless you stuck around for the bleeper, blooper, blooper, blooper is real. And we have free koozie k k k k k k <laughs> It's a hundred percent free. Did you hear that? The heater just kicked on. In my email in my about and do oh, I give up. Any comment can <laughs> any comment koozie can koo Koozies, koozies. Um, 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 um,